Hello friends, uh, just a little, another little video and a little project, cool little thing I picked up on eBay. A couple of months ago, I did a little uh, video on this. Um, these are uh, both made by a company called Davtron, and they are uh, chronometers, essentially clocks, for uh, aviation. And uh, as such, they've got, um, they've got certain features in aviation, such as flight time, uh, elapsed time, things that you might need when you're flying a plane. Uh, and so this one we did a little video on, and um, it's got all kinds of buttons, uh, knobs and, and stuff, and it's a little involved uh, to get to, to do it. But I do like the fact that it shows seconds all the time. This one I just picked up a little while ago, and it's, it's a little more modern, a little later model. Uh, this one's the 8M, where is it, M811. And this is the M877. What I like about them is that they both have these, this um, uh, panaplex. I, I keep calling it panaplex. I forget if that's the right term or not. Essentially, elements that glow. Uh, they're not LED and they're not Nixie. Uh, they're uh, seven segment glowing uh, vacuum. Is it vacuum discharge? Anyway, I'm not sure, but we'll plug it in and let you know how it goes. Uh, and so this one, um, a little different than the one on the, on the right here, has a set of leads and uses this sort of plug to get power. And as a backup battery, it's got this sort of, uh, I don't know, bespoke little um, six volt thing. And when this runs down, you just uh, cut it out and replace it. Um, all hard sort of wired in. This newer one, again, I'm assuming it's newer, uh, you use a double A, single, a single double A battery here for backup when the vehicle is not powered. And uh, to, to, to connect to it, um, you've got this uh, DB, DE9 male connector. Uh, I'll uh, just briefly flash up the, um, the pinouts for this. So what we're going to do is I've set up um, I've set up a power supply. Uh, this one this one is a twenty eight. It's it's the nice thing about it is it's uh, thirteen or fourteen to twenty eight volts, so it can be used in a vehicle with either twelve volts slash thirteen point eight or a twenty eight volt, which is like more twenty four to twenty eight, which is more a military vehicle. I, I don't have a uh, I don't have a plane. I've got a Land Rover, and I thought this would be really cool to to put in for a clock. So um, got the voltage set up uh, here. I'm using um, the red and black, a little uh, DB9 breakout, uh, whereas pin one and pin two is the power. And I'm getting some striping, some uh, aliasing. Uh, just a little breakout and then to this cable and with a little gender changer, you know, all these things you got to do. And um, we'll just plug this in. Probably should have used a tripod for this video. Well, I'm getting a little lazy in my old age. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, right here, we're going to turn on the power and see how it all looks. And there you have it. As you can see, uh, turn this light off so you can get a little more. It is not LED. It is this glowing red um, type of uh, tube. Very beautiful looking, very pleasant. And um, you've got these two buttons on the bottom. Select, uh, oh, and you've got this little flashing light here. So GMT says that you're looking at the currently programmed GMT time. You press it, oops, you press it again. You're looking at local time. This must have some data in it from whenever it was uh, taken out of service. LT is local time, FT is flight time, and to get that to trigger, there's a one of the pins uh, on the rear, on the DB, DE9, you ground it, I think, or you put it to 28 volts, one of the two, and it'll start counting. So when, you're, uh, when, the, uh, when the wheels come up on the airplane, or whatever the trigger is, it can start your flight time counter. And then you've got this, uh, this just el elapsed, let me see if I can set it, 
oh, wrong select. And then you got elapsed time, which is just a little stopwatch uh, that you could run yourself and you start up by hitting control. Just a little, uh, a little counter. And then you can zero it by hitting control again. I would have liked to have seen it hold for control, like a lapse, uh, like a lap function. But you press it, and then if you want to hold it, I think you've got to go somewhere else. Uh, and then when you come back, it'll it will have continued to count. So uh, the other feature that this has is has a backlight for um, you know if it's a dark cockpit or a dark. Uh, See, if it's very dark, it may be hard to see the uh, labels. So for that, uh, this one, for some reason, I don't know why, it has a, a, a uh, it says, uh, says 5 volt lighting. So the lighting control here is not 28 volts or, or 13 to 28, but it's 5 volt. So what I've done here is I've set up my second supply with 5 volts at a quarter of an amp. And uh, I've share have a shared ground, and then this is pin two. I've got the five volt going, and I will turn that one on. And uh, I'll also let me turn this off to get a little more effect of it. So let's turn on the five volt power supply. And there you have it. I hope that's I hope you can see that. I turn it on and off a couple times so you can really see if it comes through on the video. Yeah, I think that's pretty clear. And so one of the other neat features, and this really may not come out on the video, is in bright light, um, deep in here, I don't know if you can see it, just on the right, let's see if I can point to it with something. Um, right there, above my pencil here, is a little... Uh, I think it's a cadmium sulfide cell, uh, cell of some kind, or perhaps it is a, uh, a, a photo resistor. I'm not sure what the technology is. But what happens is it will, it's bright in bright light, and it will dim in dim light. Let me see if I can do this, if it'll show up. Sometimes these video cameras, which is my phone, uh, have like brightness uh, gain control, and you might not see it. Let's see. You can see it a little bit but it is much more pronounced in person. Very dim here and very bright here. All right, so how do we set this? So um, uh, let's first, we start off with Greenwich Mean Time and you hold both the select and control down at the same time. Okay, and then you set, set it. So I think it's now about one, I'm not sure exactly, but I think, oops, uh, let's go to the next digit. It's one something in the morning. So go look, go to select the next digit. I think it's one, say 150 Greenwich Mean Time. Okay, that's good. Now let's go to local time, LT. And what I like about this is it doesn't ask you to just do a, 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 a time zone offset. It actually lets you just put in the local time, which makes it just more convenient. I have to remember minus four, minus five. I'm on the East Coast. So uh, in, in, in the USA, so Eastern Daylight, Eastern Standard. No, I just put the time in. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hold Control and select the same time. And we're going to oops, increase it to, I think it's about 8, 8, 8 p.m. And, and of course, the, the minutes are going to be the same. Um, and that's it. You're good to go. Most of the time, I'll be look, using this in, in local time. And uh, when I need to or want to, I can always go, uh, oops, have a little stopwatch or a little timer, I should call it. Uh, there it is, 8.51. And uh, of course, I'm still uh, accumulating time. Well, that's pretty much it. I think this would make a, a great little addition to my uh, Land Rover. Um, the one thing I'll mention is this 5 volt light is kind of a pain in the neck. And uh, so, but what I notice is I can vary the voltage uh, very gradually. I don't know if you'll see it, but uh, it also varies it. So I, I suspect there's an old fashioned light bulb in there 
that is like a five volt light bulb. I don't think, my guess is there's nothing more sophisticated. Uh, and so if I can find a 28 volt or a 12 volt, depending on what I decide, where I decide to mount this in the front or the back, um, 12 volt being the, the vehicle voltage, 28 being the radio uh, equipment voltage, uh, I think I might just be able to replace the light bulb and uh, that might be it. I'll have to open this up and take a look. All right, well, that's it. Just a little video on this M877 Davtron uh, aviation chronometer. Thanks for watching.